Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I would like to talk how I'm using uh, grid uh, component in Streamlit uh, to simplify data annotation uh, for Donut uh, dataset. In, actually, it can be used not only for Donut, for any other uh, model where you need to prepare data and annotate data to assign labels to the extracted values and so on. So let, without any extra delay, let's uh, jump to my uh, desktop screen and uh, let's see how it works. So first of all, a few words about Sparrow. So Sparrow is an uh, open source product that I'm building uh, that uh, should help to extract data from documents. So in this specific video, I'll be talking about uh, data annotation step and uh, data preparation step, because this is essential step when you want to prepare a data set for your own set of uh, documents, invoices, receipts, and based on that data, you would like to fine tune uh, existing donut model, so that donut model would uh, provide good uh, results for your own data, not because in general, uh, donut model is trained on a general set of data, which uh, most likely would, would be different than your own data, so this is why you need to do fine tuning. Okay, and below the video, you'll find URL to Sparrow. You can clone the code, uh, uh, change, uh, add new features if you want, and you use it uh, um, yeah, whenever you want. Okay, so this is the demo. And uh, yeah, we already have demo application running on Hugging Face Spaces, but um, on Hugging Face Spaces, it runs not the latest version. So to get the latest version, you should get from code and run it on your own environment. As soon as um, I'll release version one, then I'll update the application and runs on, on Hugging Face Spaces as well. So now we go to data annotation part and we can hide the menu. So what is the typical task, uh, how, it, how it looks like? So first of all, uh, this is the invoice document and all those uh, blue boxes is uh, already extracted uh, text, extracted data that um, arrived from OCR. Um, I'm using Mindy DocTR a solution to extract, uh, to, to run OCR task and extract data. And now for those label for the for those data that is already extracted, we need to assign labels so that uh, uh, Donut or other model would be able to learn uh, from this uh, training set uh, where is the um, uh, customer, for example, address, where is the supplier address, where is the tax ID, where is the um, uh, invoice item, what is the total, and so on and so on. So for the seller, we have address over here and OCR extracts uh, address with separate words. So it doesn't group the words into single uh, centers or single line because uh, words are, uh, each word is, uh, locate, uh, is located from each other uh, with a certain space and OCR thinks those uh, uh, different words that don't relate to each other. So that's quite logical, right? But for us, when we train when we want to fine-tune the donut model, this is not suitable because we want to provide to donut the full uh, address. So even for full, not specifically address, it can be any kind of information address in this case. And uh, it can be uh, aligned on one line or it can come in multiple lines. Like in this case, we have uh, three lines uh, are being used to define address. So the task would be first to uh, group different uh, words into single sentence and then as soon, as soon as we have proper grouping then we could assign a label and for that we have uh, grouping over here and I changed the UI to use uh, table structure and out of the box Streamly doesn't provide um, like very user-friendly table component here yeah, they provide uh, table and data frame but uh, it's nice uh, for data visualization for read-only tasks, but when you want to um, allow user to do input or select multiple roles with checkbox, it doesn't work well, or it doesn't provide such functionality. But luckily there is a third-party component for Streamlit, which is called uh, AG Grid Streamlit. 
It's created on top of um, a popular AG Grid component for the JavaScript frameworks and toolkits, and uh, it's it it provides a wrapper for for this JavaScript implementation and runs well in Steam. So this is what I'm using, and I'll show you in, in a few moments in the code how it looks like. Okay, so first we need to group. So we select the first entry, Patel, and uh, then it ends with zip code. So we scroll a bit, and this one is this is the zip code. So we select all those entries that uh, require grouping, and then we press save. So what happens is we see that uh, the invoice picture is updated. We grouped all this um, address information together, and then we got under index eight this uh, uh, single line for for this uh, uh, text information for the address. So we don't uh, address is not. Uh, split into multiple uh, lines, multiple entries anymore. It's just a one sentence now, as, as, as it should be. Then we go, go back to mapping. And we see here that uh, it's the same thing. We got one entry for address. So we can either select here or we can select on, on a document and then we will uh, we'll have, um, it will be our entry will be automatically highlighted, for example, like that. So we select uh, seller address and then we double click here and we, we have the option to say this is actually uh, seller information and uh, we save it to the backend to the JSON JSON structure and then we would repeat the same for all the fields that we would like to assign labels and then we would have a data set that uh, you could use to fine tune uh, donut model. And as uh, Sparrow tool is uh, open source, so you could uh, freely get it from the GitHub, uh, use it. Uh, of course, I'm always very interested to hear your feedback and to learn how you're using it uh, in on your own use cases and uh, always uh, open for collaboration and, uh, and so on. So the idea behind uh, Sparrow, uh, once it will be implemented, uh, the base model of Sparrow, base functionality will be open source and will run, uh, run Sparrow as uh, a product uh, and uh, will, uh, for anyone who would like to get some <clears throat> custom implementations, will provide it as, as a service and uh, yeah, we'll see uh, for how it, how it will go and how it will be um working but for now yeah for now uh, implementing is as open source and for sure always it's uh, some part of sparrow will stay as open source and maybe some uh, other functionality like security or some uh, complex processing or some advanced model creation it will be uh, under a paid subscription but for the free subscription the base functionality will be always available anyway so let's uh, jump to the source code and uh, let's see uh, where all the logic is implemented. So the grid uh, functionality for grouping and for mapping is uh, implemented under data annotation from the same Python script uh, image uh, with the invoice or receipt is uh, display rendered as well through uh, Streamlit component, uh, Sparrow labeling, which uh, was also implemented by me by uh, modifying uh, another open source uh, component called uh, uh, Streamlit uh, Labeler, I think. Yeah, so we got render form view. So this function is responsible to render uh, mapping, um, uh, uh, mapping view. And uh, we got a formatter over here and we specify uh, grid uh, columns, columns that will be displayed on UI. ID one is hidden and is being used to uh, do mapping. When user assigns a label uh, through ID, we could match uh, this label with uh, original set of data and uh, store the value to the JSON structure like that. So we have a value field is editable and label field, uh, label column is editable as well and also we provide option of the drop-down, so the user could select value from the, from the, from the drop-down for the label. Then there is some styling applied and for this uh, AG Styler uh, draw grid we basically display data frame as a grid. 
And HGStyler is a helper script that uh, I got from this uh, GitHub repo uh, from original offer and I, I copied this uh, uh, wrapper for uh, AGGrid in Streamlit and yeah, it, it works well and it uh, helps to hide uh, some functionality from AGGrid which is uh, like a configuration and so on so it, it makes your uh, final code uh, cleaner and smaller so it's nice and by the way, if you look into invoice uh, zero JSON, the one, uh, the document that we just were modifying a few moments ago, if we scroll over here, then we'll see this is the entry that relates to uh, seller address. This is the value. This is uh, bounding boxes that were retrieved by OCR, and this is the label. So in the next step, when we'll generate um, uh, data set for donut fine tuning will use uh, value and uh, assigned uh, label so that we could train uh, donut model to do uh, proper data extraction. Okay, so thanks for watching uh, this episode. And in this episode, I was trying to summarize um, the approach I'm using to build um, a data set for donut. Uh, fine-tuning uh, using uh, grouping and mapping and this functionality is already uh, completely done and uh, if you would like to you could uh, clone uh, clone the implementation <coughs> and uh, run on your own local environment <coughs> so if, uh, so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye